know you mean well, but I just don't need this right now. It's a crime. You should be locked up. Impersonating someone. A knitwear model? Yeah, yeah, that'd stand up in court. Don't dare crack jokes, Todd. How's everyone doing? Why? Uh, why? Mum, you, you were just so easy. I'd love a simple life. Country walks, roaring log fires. My dream, a country cottage, a chocolate Labrador, and a loving man to cuddle. Please, you break out in highs more than ten miles from the Arndale. You don't know the first thing about my dreams. Yeah, I do now. Because you spilled them all to Jeff, along with your saucy jokes and your pathetic fantasies. And by the way, all about what you could do for him, never about what he could do for you. You see, even in your dreams, you're a doormat. Shut your mouth now. No, you shut your mouth. You had this coming, both of you. Or did you believe I'd forgiven and forgotten? Seriously? After me sitting here like a saddle with a bottle of ice while you all left me hanging? Oh, here we go. See, even if I wanted to forget, I can't. Because it's there every time I look in the mirror, reminding me you're all two-faced, spineless sheep. So you hate us all? Fine. But why, Mum? She's the only one that's ever stuck up for you when no one else wanted to know guilt. A mother's love is unconditional. Julie, what would you know about being a mother, eh? Addie and Asher. They're just something to parade around the park. You'd be just as happy with a couple of shih tzus. Hang on, what has she ever done? With all due respect, Julie, butt out before you get burned. I know what I know. And Eileen has always had your back. Yeah, yeah. Why you? Not me. Why? Because I love you, Jason. I want to be like you. I want to be straight and muscular and dumb enough not to be hurt by the world. Right, that's enough now, Todd. Come on, this is getting us nowhere. You've always been the same since you were little. Always wanted what I had. A dad. Low blow, Eileen. <laughs> but respect. Poor little Jace. You still don't understand. I didn't pick on poor mum and leave you alone. I took your favourite toy and I threw it out of the pram. Hey? Eva. <laughs> Talk about an open goal. Look here. Question there. Oh, we're uh, planting Eva's phone at uh, that hotel reception. That was a stroke of genius. You did that? Pouring pints down your neck when you should have been begging for mercy. I mean, no wonder she was furious. I was outraged. All that money spent on flights to New York, you didn't even put up a fight. Yeah, I did. I remembered. It's such a shame because you were perfect for each other. I mean, when does that ever happen, eh? You know, good looks and just the right level of dumb. A match made in heaven. Except now she's a thousand miles away. I'm never coming back. Darwin sleeps easy. How could you? Well, admit it. Great for the beach shots, but, you know, not so great for the gene pool. How did you get so cruel? Swimming with sharks. I loved her. Well, not enough, apparently. She was the one. Oh, Jason, I'm filling up here. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Don't worry. We're going. We've put on enough of a floor show for one night, unless you still want more. Do you want me to go round with a hat?